Hey, John Tyler back again with another one of my famous how-tos. I do how-tos to help you not have to go through all the crapola that I go through when I try to solve a simple problem. My simple problem today, uh, February 2nd, 2022, was I have Microsoft Edge. Well, I wanted to download uh, Google Chrome as my primary browser. Guess what? Microsoft Edge is kind of proprietary and they won't let you do it. There's a way around it. That's the part I'm going to share with you. They just won't let you do it. Let me explain what I did. I went to Microsoft Edge, typed in Google Chrome download. Boom. And I'll show you the pictures as I progressed in just a moment. I blab a little bit, but I want to explain to you my frustrations because I know you've got the same thing or you wouldn't be here learning how to do this. Okay, so I went there I and, and all of a sudden you get this pop-up that says, you know, Microsoft Edge is the best browser you can have, and, but they'll let you click on Google Download, which I did. And then, so I went to the Google download site and there's a nice blue button there that says download. Well, when I started to hit the download button, I had brown hair. You get what I'm saying? So, so in other words, you can type download and hit download until you're 104 years old and it ain't never going to go there. Uh, so I'll be right back and we'll start out the process of this how-to on, first of all, how to get Google Chrome and replace your Microsoft Edge stupid stuff with Google Chrome, because you can do a lot more with Chrome. And one of the things we can do with Chrome is, see how it says over here on my little problem solved button? Uh, on my desktop, uh, here on my computer in my little studio, I have maybe 30 icons, they're personal icons, but instead of going online to a browser and then typing in my bank or Facebook or YouTube or credit card payment and all that crap and wasting all that time, I have little personal icons that I made with Photoshop and I just click on any particular icon, YouTube, uh, uh, my website, you know, Facebook, whatever. I One click, boom, I'm there. I'm going to show you how to do the same thing using Google Chrome. Can't do it with Edge. Can't do it with Firefox. Can't do it with Internet Explorer 11. Okay, so I'll be right back and I'll start with program one of this how-to. So before I get into phase one of this thing, I just wanted to show you this is my desktop background. All the stuff down the middle is what I'm going to present to you today. But other than that, on the right side, I got my browser Chrome, if you notice. And way on the left-hand side over here, I've got Microsoft Edge. I stowed that away because you can't get rid of it. Microsoft doesn't want you to ever get rid of it. So anyway, all the stuff in the middle will be gone. All the stuff I put in, little blackboards I made for my desktop. So any time I click on any one of those icons, uh, it'll bring me to wherever I want to go. My bank, Facebook. YouTube, and so forth. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. Not the same desktop, but I'm going to show you how to make your own little icons uh, and how you can just have one click, boom, you're there. You're at your bank. You're at any website you want to go to. Be right back. So in Microsoft Edge, you click on download Google Chrome. You'll come to this page. See, it says there, there's no need to download a new web browser. God forbid you should leave Microsoft. What? But then there's a link there, Google Chrome, download Chrome today. And I made a note. When you go there, and it'll let you go to Google Chrome. I'll show you that next. And when you get there, watch the download button. What? It goes nowhere. So this is where uh, Microsoft Edge will bring it right to the Google download button. And you see that big, beautiful download Chrome and you get all excited. Your heart starts to flutter like mine did when I had brown hair, as I say. And I clicked on it and I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited. And I said, well, apparently Microsoft Edge does not want anybody to have Google Chrome as their 
primary or default browser. But I'm not satisfied with what people don't want. I never could follow orders, just me. Anyway, so this is what you'll see, and it's aggravating. So let's get to the point, John. Let's get me to the point. All right, so I'm going to move this background behind me to show you what to do. What you want to do is go to Microsoft Edge, and then you got to fake them out like I did. So I said, all right, I'm going to download Firefox. I have a Yankee accent, Massachusetts. Firefox. So I'm going to download Firefox, but you get the same crapola from Microsoft where, uh, Edge. Wedge. There's no need to download a new web browser, huh? But you're gonna, um, let me scan this now for you. Download new Opera browser. No, don't go there. Fi free Firefox by Top Software Guru. All these fake websites that want to give you free this, that, and the other thing, forget about them. Go to the original people. So then I'm going to move that up and you get to this little guy, download Firefox browser by mozilla.org. That's a big yes. Click on this for your Firefox download. So I had to move myself so you could see the download button. Once you're on Firefox browser, Click on that download Firefox button, and guess what? You can actually go there and download the thing. Whoa, be right back. So when you download, uh, download the Firefox browser, you're going to see up above my head here, it says downloads on the right-hand side of your screen, and it'll say open file. Click on open file, and you'll be surprised the tricks that Microsoft Edge wedge uh, gives you so that you can't get this done. Ah, uh, but we get it done. Okay, over here, when you finally get the Firefox and you open your file and your computer says, allow this in the computer, yes, you're going to get this screen. And sneaky little Microsoft Edge wedge, say, uh, do not type on the blue button. Open Microsoft Edge to get the browser, nay, nay, because you'll never get it. So you have to hit install anyway. In other words, to you, Microsoft Edge, I'm going to install it anyway. Click that button. Then you'll get the browser. Once you go to Microsoft, excuse me, to uh, Mozilla Firefox browser, you're going to see this search Google or, or type a URL. So you type in Google Chrome download in that blank spot on Firefox and uh, you'll then, and it'll download it, no problem. And then you'll have to hunt for Google Chrome download in your computer. And I'll show you how to do that. Go to the start menu and type in startup apps and scroll down until you see on the left hand side until you see excuse me, after you hit startup apps, my fault, you go to the right hand side of that, you scroll down and you'll see Google Chrome. So what I had to do was just take my mouse and click on that uh, with my mouse and drag it over to my desktop. The way you do that is you just minimize this screen that you see here and your desktop is behind you. So that's how you're gonna get the Google uh, Chrome button on your regular desktop. Okay, be right back. This just shows you a piece, the right-hand side of my desktop, see? Music 2, John Photos, uh, Dothan, Alabama, that's Realtor.com, um, all that kind of stuff. Stuff that I want to go to. Um, to the right-hand side now, at the very top, you will see Google Chrome. I put it way over there, and you already saw the picture of my full desktop where I put Microsoft Edge way over to the left so that it's I never confuse it again. Uh, that thing that says Light, cute FTP Light, that's pretty cool. When I go there, I can transfer anything I want to up to my regular website at johntyler.com. And I have all kinds of stuff that I can and have done up there. <clears throat> uh, I can go to Photoshop, I can click on 
uh, Word and type in a Word document. So I like to have all my icons in one spot. You can do the same thing on your regular desktop, but now I'm going to show you how to go get one click, does it all, I call them quick links. You'll make them yourself. Here's how. And so one, log into Google Chrome and you'll see, you might see a bunch of little icons there like to Wayfair or whatever. In my case, when I first started Google Chrome, I had uh, only, it says new page one, that's my actual website. So I, uh, how you get these in there is you see that add right there, add your next, the plus, add your next favorite link to any website here. So you click on that and I added my bank in this particular case um, so that I just have to go to Google Chrome one time on my desktop and it will load all of my favorite little website, one link, quick link, and I can go right there. It's nice to just hit J and I'm at my website. Hit my bank, boom, I can make my payments. Uh, put money in, take money out, all that kind of stuff. And the next one, I'll show you what I did by hitting the next, add next, uh, your favorite link to any website right here. I'm pausing here onto a different little page here because if you see, I went to, as you can see, my YouTube site, one click, boom. But if you want to remove anything that Google put there or anything that you put there later on, it's real easy. You click on the, the link, you want to get rid of and it will highlight like I just showed you here and you'll see three little dots above. You click on the three dots and you will see uh, a couple of choices there. One of them is remove. You just hit remove and it's gone. Then you can hit add shortcut and put any other shortcuts that you want to in there. And of course this just shows my YouTube without the three little dots because I, I want to leave it there. And then I'm going to add uh, right here uh, all the shortcuts that I want so that across my Google Chrome when I first hit it off my website it'll open to this search engine which is cool and then all of my favorite quick links and your favorite just add them you go to that website that you want and you glad I remembered this and you click on uh, whatever their website is, mybank.com. And then you, you take your mouse and you swipe that URL address because this is going to ask you two questions. One, well, let me go get it for you. What the heck, right? Okay, so when you hit add a new link, you're going to be brought to this particular screen. And then you add it's under name, name your link. And that's what's going to show up on Google one click, uh, quick access links. So I'm naming this one and I'll show you the end result in a second. And then we're done with this video. My NFL link, that's what I name it. Okay, then you either type in or uh, you can actually go to that website like this one's HTTPS blah, 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 nflhd.tv. Uh, so you can swipe that with your mouse and then plug it in here. Or, I mean, it was simple enough for me to remember, so I just typed it in. Then when I click on Google again, watch what happens. See the little N in brown? Well, Google Quick Links, well, I did it and you'll do it. But as soon as you hit Google, which I just did, there's, it says my football link. All I got to do now is click on that instead of typing in uh, some browser, uh, something where I want to get to and, you know, waste some more of my life. So I love the one click deal. And uh, again, on my website, uh, I have all the, the links, but it's too complicated, believe me, to try to teach people how to do that. And then you got to add a Photoshop pro, uh, program and you got to add another program. So this is just no programs added. It's free. It's just knowing how to do the thing. So now you know. Be right back and I'll end this puppy. So back to where I began just to say goodbye. If you like what you see, you can subscribe or not. It's up to you. I have about 2,500 subscribers as it is now. 
because I do stuff. I sing country music, yeah, even with gray hair. And I must be okay doing it because 2,500 people uh, go to my website. But they like the how-tos. I did a how-to on adding uh, septic tank risers, believe it or not, at my age. And I just did it a couple of years ago. And the inspector came out to inspect my work. Uh, and he said, this is the cleanest, best, nicest, easy access septic system I've seen. So anyway, a lot of people, uh, 10,000 people, I guess, downloaded that one. There's another one on how to transfer stuff. I'll put it on the end of this link here, in fact. How to transfer stuff from Windows 7 or from Computer A to Computer B that has Windows 10. It's easy peasy stuff to do, but trying to do it the first time is a croaker. Anyway, thanks a lot for attending. I'll see you next time.